Welcome back. In this video, we shall be using our knowledge on props, states, class-based components to build a basic quiz app. So to start this, let's create another file known as questions.jsx. This file will act as a database where questions and options for the answers will be gotten from. And also, we are going to create another file known as quiz.jsx where our props logic will be written. So firstly, let's create our questions.jsx that's going to serve as our database, questions.jsx. In our questions.jsx, we are going to pass in an array of objects. So let's call that questions. Let's pass in an ID. Since we are trying to mimic a database, the uniqueness of a data set is always the ID. So let's pass an ID of one there and let's say first Q, which is the first question, is going to be a string of is Africa the future? And let's go to the next line. Let's pass in the first answer as first A and let's say yes. let's pass in a first option this is going to represent our checkbox and let's set this to false let's pass in a second answer a string set to obviously and let's pass in a second option which is also going to be a checkbox and set that to false. Then the third answer is going to be certainly. And let's pass in the third option, third up, set to false also. We are just going to stick to one question for now. If you want to have more than one question, all you have to do is pass in a comma here. You can just copy this like so and paste here don't forget to change the id to to and also mess around with your questions and your answers so that's it but for this video we are going to stick to one question now after setting all of this we have to export our questions and we can do that by saying export default questions or question Let's pass in an S here. Questions. Export default questions. Now let's head back to our rootcomp.jsx file, which is our root component file. Let's go back here. Let's pass in the import statement. And let's. Now we have to import our questions. Import questions. from questions from questions.jsx let's get rid of this and let's pass in a name here don't forget to do that let's say root comp and we are going to export this also root comp let's just pass in a div here so we don't get that error in our return statement now after all of this we have to define our state and the way to do that is to come here and open up a constructor method. In our constructor method, we'll pass in a super function and we say this dot state will be set to an object of problem which is set to questions, the questions that we imported. So let's select that questions. So we have passed everything from our database to our state. So before we proceed, let's create another file with the name quiz.jsx. And in that file, we'll have a component known as quiz. So let's say quiz, not quiz, quiz.jsx. And in this file, let's put our import, let's put our import statement there. 
let's open up our class block and let's set this to quiz let's get rid of this state line there and in here let's just pass in the div to get that error out now let's save that let's go back to our root comp.jsx in our render method we are going to create a new variable known as new problem that is going to run the problem variable we have in our state through the map function we are going to say this dot state dot problem dot map and in our map function we'll pass in another arrow function with the variable item and here we are going to pass in our quiz component like so so let's go up here and let's import our quiz component. We are going to say import quiz from quiz, quiz.jsx. So in our quiz component here, we are going to pass in our props. And the first prop we'll pass in is the key. The key is going to be the unique ID in our data sets, which is our ID. And after that, we are going to pass in the first question, which is the first queue. It will be set to item dot first dot first queue. The next is going to be the answer first answer item dot first a. The next will be our first option first op set to item dot first up after that we'll have a second answer which will be set to item dot second a and we'll have a second option which is second up that will be set to item dot second up and we'll have a third answer, which is third A set to item, item dot third A. And finally, we'll have a third option, which will be set to item the third up. Now that's it. Now let's go to our return statement. In our return statement, we are going to pass in this new problem variable here because this new problem variable currently stores all of this so that's what we shall be printing to the screen so we are going to pass that by saying new problem now let's save that let's head back to our quiz.jsx file and let's pass in our props right here so here i'm going to put a h5 heading tag that's going to say this dot props dot first queue. Now let me save that. Let's check our server. Our server is running perfectly. Let's go to our browser to see what we have currently. As you can see, the question is out. Is Africa the future? Let's go back to our quiz.jsx file and let's passing the first answer which is this dot props dot first a let's save that and go back to the browser you see yes now let's pass in an input tag which is going to be used for our checkbox let's set the type to checkbox and let's pass in the property known as unchecked unchecked which will be set to this dot props dot first up and let's close our input tag there let's go to our browser you see we have a checkbox here I can check that and uncheck that so is Africa the future yes you tick that and let's go back and you can also set another p tag that is going to have the next 
answer this the props dot second a we'll pass in an input tag again with a type set checkbox and an unchecked property set to this dot props dot second up and let's close our input tag right there let's save that go back to our browser to see what we have is africa the future yes or obviously go ahead and complete this exercise pass in the third answer and the third option now your project will be using the style sheet css method that we learned earlier on style the squeeze app send me a screenshot on my twitter my twitter handle is at joseph underscore brendan underscore that's my twitter handle send me a screenshot of what you've done with this don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share